the Mobility Hub is the embodied expression of new mobility. In the urban environment, the hub serves as a link among different types of public transport with vehicles for spontaneous use. Here you can get information about various mobility options and also register. The sharing zones are an essential element of the mobility hub. They are spread over the city area and provide a wide range of vehicles for hire. At one tariff, you are entitled to unlimited use of the circulating vehicles so that the borrowing comes with minimum effort. The energy car park uses renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. In 2030, urban traffic will be dominated by various modes of electrically driven transport. With advancing battery technology, the problem of range restriction for electric vehicles will be solved. In 2013, the Alfredstraße still has four lanes for motorized traffic alone. Yet, in 2030, the transformation to the cycled superhighway will be completed. Due to its optimized traffic regulations for cyclists, the city center can be reached quickly. In order to promote electric mobility, one lane was exclusively reserved for electric cars before the construction of the cycled superhighway. The modal split of the traffic volume will shift significantly. The number of vehicles will decrease to 25,000 daily. Let's take a look at the Steinke family, who in 2030 live in Essen-Rüttenscheid and no longer remember the mobility of the past. 35-year-old mother Tanya works as a senior insurance employee. She compares her options on her smartphone. The subway would be the fastest means of transport today, but Tanya decides on car sharing because she wants to take some documents to the office. Although the drive takes a few more minutes, this is the most convenient option for Tanya today. She walks to the energy car park, borrows a car by using her mobility card and drives to the office. After she has arrived, she parks the car at the station right next to the office. Shortly before closing time, Tanya quickly checks the current mobility options. In order to avoid rush hour, she uses the subway and gets off at the mobility hub. From there, she can walk. Ulf Steinke is 39 years old and works as a graphic design freelancer with flexible time management. After breakfast, he wants to take his daughter to the daycare center, which of course is environmentally friendly too. He uses the local bicycle loan system and borrows one of the convenient cargo bikes. From the daycare center, Ulf bikes to his office. On the way, he stops at the supermarket to buy two crates of water for the office. With a cargo bike, he can easily take them there. After use, he parks the bike at the station nearest to the office. This is what urban mobility in the future might look like. The greenhouse gas emissions in the transport sector will be reduced drastically. Due to an intelligent combination of public transport, bicycle and other options, such as car sharing, mobility in 2030 will not only be environmentally friendly, but also fairer and cheaper for urban residents.